So it kind of points towards, yes, we are evolved in this ball of fire, but what about what's literally happening inside of us? There is there's clear evidence that there's light being um, generated from inside of our inside of our body, inside of our cells. And perhaps those are why these receptors have evolved to detect and be involved in that communication. In other words, if we were to go into a, a truly dark room that had zero external light coming in, we would actually, with the appropriate sensors and detectors, we would actually be able to detect photons being produced from the cells of the organism itself. You know, we are we are pioneering this space, but this has been shown for over a century now with the mm. original Alexander Gerwich experiments with onion roots showing that you know they didn't have the fancy detectors that we did but they showed that if you have light impermeable um, impermeable materials like glass or quartz you can kind of prevent cells from growing onion root cells from growing and there's no chemicals that are being emitted from onion roots so it must be something physical so the conclusion they came with that it must be uv uh, light that's being emitted because of the barrier that they used to prevent it from getting from one side to the other. Uh, the big question that we are trying to solve as a community now, is there information in that light? Can mm -hmm. we actually use that light emission to read what's happening internally? Yeah, yeah. So so it's unquestionably true that these, uh, what do you call